Hi guys. So, I have a confession to make. I am normally a clean person. I normally put things away when I'm done using them so I can find them when I need it. There's a car driving by, standing in my garage. It's a little awkward. But I like to have things organized and I feel like some of my anxiety and stress lately has been because I'm not organized. And that sounds so stupid. I've been telling Jason, my husband, for days now that I feel that I'm not accomplishing anything on a day-to-day -day basis. And he thinks that's kind of nuts because like the laundry is done, the dishes are done, the kitchen's clean, you know, the house is for the most part clean. But this is why I feel, this is part of the reason why I feel a little bit uneasy. Let me just show you. You guys, check out, <laughs> check out this mess. And maybe this isn't messy to some people. But every nook and cranny over here has a mess. Yes, we buy Krispy Kreme donuts. They're for birthdays. If you haven't seen the birthday videos, go check them out. That is, this is all Hawaii. This is all remnant of Hawaii. I did not put it away yet. That is my dead orchid. Rest in peace. A lot of this back here is Goodwill. I need to donate. That bag is Hawaii. That bag is trash. And then the mess over here continues. Christmas lights finally came off the house, but they didn't get put away. Easter baskets did not get put away. Helmet not put away. Gift bags for presents. Dumped over buckets, and I just didn't care. I just didn't care because it's all a mess. The kids, there are two cars here. I might try and donate these because our kids are too big and other little kids could use them. But inside here is just a mess. You can't even see it, but I'll pull it out and I'll show you. It's just a mess. And over here, let me show you. All right, I know it doesn't look that messy, but it is. And I just want, I had like visions of getting this all cleaned up and this bucket doesn't even belong on that shelf. Anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna get to all of this today. I might continue it tomorrow, but I'm going to do a food overhaul very, very soon and I need to like organize these shelves. I'm overwhelmed with it. All of my canned goods, so they're all dusty from sawdust and whatnot. That's applesauce there and then I've got peaches down here. So I have thoughts of moving all of my jar goods over to just this shelf and especially doing empty jars on the bottom so the weight is down on the bottom. No, reverse. And putting all the empty jars on the shelves up top and then the heavier ones down bottom. Um, I've got these bins right here that I kind of store things in and it's just not working because the kids can't get in and out of them and it's just not working. And I, we have been going through our food supply. This is the only shelf that really has food in it. There's a little box right here that has some food in it. But I'm trying to deplete our food supply because I wanna start fresh. I know there's a lot of stuff in here that's probably expired that I need to get rid of and just feeling like I need to clean out here. And Jason has been wanting to do this with me and he probably will help me finish some of it but he's just really stressed at work and he's having to work a ton. He's having to work six days a week right now and that probably isn't going to change anytime soon. So I have to take that burden on myself. And I don't mind, I'm not trying to make him feel guilty and he does feel guilty, but I'm not trying to make him feel guilty about that. I just felt like I could either take a nap today or I could get busy in here. And I probably won't finish it because we are going out on a date tonight. We have a wedding to go to, but I need to just get started. I'm rambling. I'm just going to start. The kids are going to be home from school soon. My hope is that they'll either try and help me or they'll just get out and ride their bikes outside instead of sitting inside. Cause it's a beautiful day out here, but I need to get this done. I'm going to start with a lot of this mess over here. I'm going to put Hawaii stuff away, meaning swim stuff. We have buckets to put them away in and then I will work on trash. I'm going to put the Goodwill stuff into my car so I actually take it to Goodwill. Oh, I'm just, I'm overwhelmed. Let's just start. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but 
there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul We are heroes tonight We will fly above the sky you guys I'm all done I didn't have the camera on a lot when I was sweeping and using the compressor to kind of clean out the floors because I was worried about it getting in my lens I didn't do much with this shelf except for putting the Christmas lights away finally they're clear up there in the top bucket which is why they never got put away but I got this area all cleaned up I wish that one box wasn't there but I don't have room for another bucket so I will deal with that later and I have ideas these are all our scrapbooks so I have ideas of where to put those in the house finally but until then so then I got all of this area cleared out I've got the bikes all lined up sawdust all out of the floor I'm sure I'll get more because I'm antsy to get working on some projects but then I cleaned out the cars over there and then my pile of trash actually so this isn't trash this is my pile of donation stuff minus a plate <laughs> I don't know what that's doing there. But I donated this bike to a friend of mine. She's going to come pick it up tomorrow. And then the rest of this is just going to get put right into the car and taken straight to, it's called Valley Village here. We do have a Goodwill, but it's further away. And then over here, I wish I had a green thumb and knew where to plant these and what to do with them. I had high hopes. I got those for free, but I need to just donate them because I don't know what to do with them. I wish I had more garden space. I just don't. I got all the swim stuff put away. They go into this bin, that one, and then this one as well. These bags I'm just going to take inside and use as like grocery bags and whatnot. They're cute. It was from our hotel in Hawaii. They gave us this one. Isn't that cute? Just a little linen bag. There's another one inside we got. And then these are the Christmas lights we put outside, but then they turn into our summer lights in our backyard. So I'm going to leave them out so that I remember to put them up in, in the backyard as the weather gets better didn't do much down here I just kind of put things away this bucket here just needs to get washed out and then I'm gonna put this stuff in here this is just like we had a catered dinner from cafe Rio and so this is all the utensils that we didn't use and then the little wire things I just need to put them in there for events all right so then moving down here I just cleaned up the floor space I didn't do very much. I got rid of the extension cords and put them away in there. I did not work on the shelf. It's kind of a more of an involved job than I wanted to do today. Like I said, I have to go to a wedding tonight and I just didn't want to get that into it. I'm already hot and sweaty as it is. But I got those three little buckets all cleaned out. This is kind of my go-to tool bucket, you know, when I'm working. I just kind of leave these things out. And then roller blades are in the bottom too so the kids can roll that out and use that when they need to. All right. So, I think the kids are already gone. I went inside after picking them up from, I went and picked them up from the bus stop and 
I, they always have to come home and empty their lunch boxes and whatnot. And I just went in to wash my hands and they're not there. I know that Katie and Abby have already gone to their friends' houses. And then I, I'm assuming Chelsea and Ashley are gone. I was kind of hoping to film them tonight. But Jason and I are going on a date tonight, like I mentioned, to a wedding. So maybe I'll just continue to film the night up to that point and then we'll call it a day. But we'll just see what happens next. But I'm really happy that I got this garage cleaned out. And so I'm going to put this stuff into the car before I forget and then we'll see what else happens today. All right, so my kids still haven't come home yet. It's about 5.30. It's Friday, I'm not as worried about things. And I'm gonna put my oldest in charge of making dinner <laughs> while we're gone. I'm gonna get ready really quick for our little date night. Jason just left work. I'm going to film a video, kinda do a little chat with me while I get ready. So stay tuned for that one. Just kinda catch you up on the channel and kinda what we've got going on right now. So stay tuned for that video. And then I might take you along on our date either before or after, kind of see how it goes. Sorry the kids aren't in the video today. I wasn't planning on filming, but I really wanted to clean that garage out, and cleaning videos always do well, so for both of us. So I'm just gonna get ready to go, and then I'll bring you along on our little date. All right, you guys, I am all ready for my date. I am not doing anything fancy with my hair. I just pulled it up in a ponytail. So I am just doing a simple little shirt dress. It's kind of, uh, let's see if it'll show. It's shorter in the front and longer in the back. Jason got me a pair of shoes a couple weeks ago. I'll show you those really quick. Aren't they really cute? They're cute little heels. They're little, they're super cute with my little painted toenails peeking out. And I'm all ready to go. I'm just waiting on Jason to get home. I'm gonna go get the kids dinner started downstairs. I think that's it. I don't, I, the kids are playing outside. I mean, I could chase them around with the camera and try and capture them, but it's not gonna do me any good. They're just gonna run away from me. So sorry the kids weren't in the video today. They might be just as, as I'm walking out the door tonight, but today it was just a, a catch up day. I just needed to get caught up in the garage and go out tonight with Jason and kind of catch up on life. We rarely see each other until like eight or nine o'clock at night right now, so we need to go get caught up too. Make sure you go over to my Instagram page at Dana Creates. Dana is with a Y, D-A-Y-N-A Creates to leave a comment. I, that's what my chat with me video was just about. You can't comment here on my YouTube channel. I kind of explained that in that video. So go over to my Instagram account so you can comment on all of my videos. Is that good, Ashley? She looks like a mess right now. You're filming her. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, she's been playing outside, right? Oh, is it boiling over? Turn it down, turn it down. Abby's making mac and cheese and pasta. Ashley has little pancakes and mm. bananas and peach sauce, Thank right? You. And what do you do with the peach sauce? Um, I it it's so good. It's so good, isn't it? I learned that from my mom. You take peaches and you blend them up and you add just a little bit of sugar and it turns into the best syrup for your pancakes, right? And then you get a really good dose of fruit. All right, so mom and daddy are going out, okay? Will you be good for your Kaylee? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Stop, <laughs> Goober. And my little chef over here, she's got mac and cheese and her own pasta. She's gonna go babysitting herself tonight. So she's gotta get ready to go too. All right, we are headed on our date. Turn right up here. And Abby's with us. She's gonna go babysit. And then we'll continue on with our little date. All right, we are alone on our little date night. It's the first, well I guess in Hawaii we got to go once. I know, but it feels time. like we haven't been on a like date date in a long time. Since the last somebody's kid got married. No, we went out before that. Or last, you know. Anyway, it's kind of nice. Um, why dates are way better, I have to say. <laughs> everything <laughs> Not vacation is awesome. Everything is way better. Yeah, so anyway, it's nice to get out and it's nice to have teenagers that are responsible. I was getting my nails done the other day and the nail technician was like floored that I would let my 14 year old babysit and I was like dude I let my 11 year old babysit <laughs> what are you talking about anyway so it's just nice to get out um, it'll be fun to go to this wedding I think we're excited I'm excited about this wedding because we know both families we, they didn't all grow up here but um, they've known each other for 10 plus years and so two little sweethearts getting married and so we'll know everyone there and my battery's flashing I don't have a battery to change out so we're gonna end it here I can't film anymore in the wedding anyway so 
If we do anything terribly exciting, I will do it on my phone, but I can't imagine. Oh, we're exciting. We're so exciting. We might go get ice cream after. If they don't have like <laughs> enough food, maybe we'll go get ice cream and something to eat after. Um, so anyway, if I don't have any more battery left, I will see you guys later. Say goodbye, Jace. Bye. Bye. Take care, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. All right, so we're going to use my phone because... We're going old school. We're going old to school. Going to get the fuzzy screen because it starts. A couple weeks ago. We are living it up. We're going to go to the grocery store and get <laughs> some ice cream. And then we're going to go get me some windshield wipers. We just <laughs> drove by... What is it called again? Uh, Shock Riley's? Riley's. Riley's. One of those. And he's like, oh, you need windshield wipers. So that's the most exciting day we've been Dude, on. We know how to live it. Yep. We thought about going to like Baskin Robbins or Cold Stone, and for the price, we're like, eh, we'll Let's just go just get go a to the tub. Grocery store and get a little tub. It'll be, yeah. And get what we want. So, exciting times, you guys. All, All right. right. Oh my gosh. Go ahead. So, I'm going with Cherry Garcia. Yeah. And then, what did you get? I got peanut butter. What is it called? Peanut butter fudge core. Peanut butter fudge core, but. Yeah. I don't usually get this one. There's Chelsea some, got that one. It's really good. And he liked it. There's some other good ones in there, but... But what kinds do you guys like? Yeah. Here, I'll show you. So go over to my Instagram and let me know what your favorite kind of ice cream is. Are you like a cookie dough? I don't do coffee. Um, what are the, some of the other funny names? Oh, I didn't know that he did one. The Tonight Dough. And then Americano Dream. That's kind of fun. What was the other one that was funny? Oh, this one was funny. The Caramel Sutra. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, pistachio? Pistachio? Oh, that'd be gross. That'd be so gross. Anyway, what kind is your favorite, guys? This All is right. messier than I thought. Okay, so we have been sitting in my car. Ow! Ow! <laughs> what is wrong? Oh my gosh, you guys, we're a basket case. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do oh my gosh, you're going to drip that one. Oh, you guys. I got... No, I are You're going to drip your, oh. your spoon. We've been sitting in the car eating these little ice creams and not wanting to go home quite yet and uh now we can't the lids on because the lid the ice cream in the lid Ooh, is all like fall. i know so anyway take care you guys from safeway parking lot and a tub of ice cream <laughs> to you thanks for thanks watching bye-bye